In this video, we're going to explore the concept of improper integrals. So we're asked here to find the area under the curve y is equal to 1 over x squared for x greater than or equal to 0. So if we sketch the graph for x is greater than 0, it looks like this. And then the area that we're required to find is from 1. And where does it actually stop? Well, it's going to stop at infinity because the line y is, um, y is equal to 0 is a horizontal asymptote so this actually gets closer to the uh, x-axis but never actually touches so this goes on forever and ever so how can we actually find this area and we use a method called what's known as improper integrals so the integral that we need to find is from the lower limit to the upper limit which is infinity which seems a bit strange over 1 over x squared dx and because this sort of goes up to infinity this is called an improper integral. Now, we might be able to, and we can attempt to evaluate it using the following method, which involves limits. So what we say is that the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x squared is equal to the limit. Now we introduce some new variable a, you can call it what you like, t, a. a goes to infinity. So this limit here will now be replaced with a. So it's become the integral from 1 to a of the function 1 over x squared dx. Now, that becomes the limit as a goes to infinity. If you integrate x to the minus 2, which is what 1 over x is, you're going to get minus x to the minus 1. So this now becomes minus 1 over x, which is what minus x to the minus 1 is. And we put the limits at the end from 1 to a. And then we proceed as we would normally do. So just writing that last line out again, what we do now, we'd put the first limit in and then the second limit in. So we do the limit as a goes to infinity of minus 1 over a minus minus 1 over a, which gives me the limit of minus 1 over a minus minus gives plus plus 1. Now, what happens to 1 over a as a becomes very large? So what we note, as a goes to infinity, if you get 1 over a large number, it is approaching 0. So we can say that what minus 1 over a approaches 0. And therefore, we can say that this bit here is actually 0. This is um, an example of the convergence. So it's going to converge onto a number which is 0. And the problem is they don't always converge, as you'll see in the next video. So this becomes the limit as a goes to infinity of 1 which is equal to 1. So the required area there was actually equal to 1. Now I've got this GeoGebra Appler, which I'll put in the notes of the video. It's actually got three examples from the three videos I'm going to do on this. So there we can see the required area. Our function y is equal to 1 over x squared. Area of 1, and there again is the solution, and it's an example of where it converges. Okay, so this has been uh, a video to introduce the idea of what's known as an improper integral. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching. And I remind you, the GeoGebra app will be in the notes of the video.